The Calling of St. Matthew, 1599-1601. Caravaggio painted the calling of St. Matthew in the 17th century and is an oil on canvas, a religious painting. Firstly, it seems the organization is quite simple, but it's not, because it is an important naturalistic painting that has a deep and careful study of the order. Also, it is a bit ambiguous because of the many interpretations about it. The composition is divided into two parts. The main scene appears at the bottom part, and it portrays a group of gentlemen sitting around a table. They look as if they are having a debate, and some of them are pointing at one of the characters. In the middle, we can see a man wearing a hat with a feather. Resting his right arm on his partner's shoulder, and is looking at the man on the right. Next to him, on his left, another man is wearing black clothes, and is pointing at somebody with his hand, while he is looking at the same direction. At the edge of the table, a man is resting his arms on it and he's looking down. On the right, two men, Jesus and St. Peter, can be seen. They are standing up and are pointing at somebody on the left. In the top part of the composition, the only thing visible is a window. As we can appreciate, the darkest colors predominate, like browns and blacks. That the artist uses these hues because the room where the scene is happening does not have any light, except the one which comes through the top right, right hand corner. He uses the source of light to emphasize the most important characters in the room and their expressions and movements. The rest of the background presents the typical chiaroscuro of Caravaggio, who plays with the dark to let parts of the painting in the shadows. So that is why we cannot almost see any line. The artist wanted to represent a viable passage of the Gospel of St. Matthew, so the theme is clear. The problem is there are so many interpretations about which of the characters is Matthew. A theory says the man at the edge of the table is Matthew, who seems to be trying to notice why he is counting some coins. The other theory interprets Matthew as a burdened man, who is acting as if he is surprised. Another media scene about the painting is the clouds, because instead of Jesus and St. Peter, the rest of the characters are dressed with contemporary ones. That makes sense if we remember that we're talking about a naturalistic painting where Caravaggio wanted this to look like a scene for his time.